Hello folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Rob, back with another disc dying video. Today's video, we're doing some more chameleon cells, this time with a different swipe technique. Later on in the video, I'll cover something cool you can do with the bottom rim of your disc when you're dying it. So let's get started. If you haven't seen my other chameleon cell tutorial, I recommend checking that out. There's going to be a link to that in the corner of your screen now. If you have seen it, then this is a good place to be. The main difference between this style and that style is where the swipe happens from. Right now I'm laying down some Floetrol in lines, just different reds here. Um, none of this Floetrol has any oil mixed into it. This is just Floetrol mixed with Prochem dye. The Floetrol in these has some bubbles mixed in it, so you see me here just hitting the top with a torch to pop all the little bubbles. As I was saying, the main difference between this style and the original style of chameleon cells that I do is this style swipes from the middle. So I'm going to lay down some blue in the middle here in just a minute. That's where, why I'm leaving that space for it. Here comes the blue. I'm going to put some green on top of this in the middle. And the goal is to pull from the middle outward. And this way you get uh, a nice sort of rift of blue in the middle of all the red chose red and blue here nice bright reds and dark blue just to get a good contrast of colors and right now I'm just filling in all the little holes I can see all the white poking through with red here's a stripe of green and I'm gonna start pulling here I go with my plastic wrap I'm gonna to try to touch just the middle and pull from the middle outward and cover up that red with the blue and green Now I'm going to try pulling from the other side. Here we go. And I can see I'm not getting the coverage I really want. So I'm going to add some more blue down the middle. Probably some more green. Yep. And then uh, pull it again. Grab some more plastic wrap. There it is all covered up. Now that actually looks pretty good, but I'm still worried I wanted a little more coverage on that other side, so here I go. Another pull from the middle outward. Making sure to really just contact the part you want to swipe. And that's good enough coverage, so now I'm going to start poking. I've got this afro pick and the Kinds of it are dipped in three in one silicone and I'm just poking that through the top of the cell bed here and you can see I'm poking in kind of staggered fashion and that'll make it look give give it that honeycomb sort of look the key to getting that honeycomb look is getting even spacing Alright, the whole bed's poked up now, and I'm going to take it over to the heat lamp to develop it. Heating it under the heat lamp really helps the some of the lower stuff sort of bubble up to the top and migrate to the top. You get a lot more cells inside cells doing it this way. That's about developed enough. I'll throw a disc in there. You can see that white has sort of pushed its way through in the middle where I left that sort of white stripe without any red. And it gives uh, some nice depth to those cells there. If you want to avoid that white from coming through, you just have to make a thicker layer of uh, colored stuff or not use a base layer at all. I got this sweet proton vanish. I'm going to send it in there. I love doing clear discs like this, or, you know, semi-clear discs like this. So I'm just taking my time here, really trying to figure out exactly where I want to put it, because I want that blue to be right down the middle. And I want to see how it angles in with the stamp. Pressing it down there. 
And here comes the added cool thing you can do here. So what I'm going to do here is push down on the rim very gently here and just overflow the liquid onto the rim. And what this is going to do is just dye that portion of the rim as well. It's going to dye the underside. This tends to work well with distance drivers, not really with anything that's really deep. You need an especially deep dish with a lot of liquid for something like a putter. But you can really see that through this disc, the pattern doesn't really change on the flight plate, even when you push down and let the liquid overflow a little bit. So I'm taking that over to the heat lamp and uh, you'll see the results right now. Here it is. This proton plastic dies really nicely. And see, even though it's transparent, it got some really good saturation and the underside is a little more faint and that's just because the Floetrol tends to dry up under the heat lamp on there. But this is still a really cool thing you can do to get the bottom side of the rim dyed up. And if you're doing this on a non-transparent disc, you can submerge the whole thing and dye the whole bottom of the flight plate and get some really cool results. Thanks so much for watching, folks. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to see more. Leave me a comment. I love answering questions and see you next time. Until then, happy dying. See you later.